And here's the starting 11 for Japan. Well, it's a very defensive system which doesn't allow them to press the ball high up the field. So they need to stay compact, win back possession, and then counter-attack from there. It's not going to be easy, though. Here's the lineup for Spain. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations, and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. Will it be? It's goalkeeping of the highest class. Well, that should be a goal, really, but what a wonderful save that was. Brilliant from the goalkeeper. She's just saved her team there. Oh, she's given it away. And there is the opening goal. Well, arguably against the run of play, they've been second best up to this point, but they have the lead. Well, here's the replay. And sometimes when you've been pressed high up the field, you have to go that little bit longer and not play out through the thirds. And that's what they tried to do here. They had their pocket picked and suddenly they find the ball in the back of the net. Can they get in behind them? Can she put it away? No shortage of excitement. Level again. No wonder they're excited. Well, here it is. Head down, hit through the ball and get it on target. That's a top-class finish. There was no stopping that. And that is going to do it. The referee blows the whistle for full time. Perhaps no great surprise, Spain through to the knockout stages. And playing some good football at the same time. They've looked an excellent team so far. And I think they could go a long way in this tournament.